All right, guys, it is time for another movie review right now, and this one is coming your way thanks to Patreon supporter Luke. Let's talk about the new Netflix movie, Dangerous Lies. It stars Camila Mendez and Jesse T. Usher as Katie and Adam, respectively, a struggling young couple just trying to get by, and Kate is busy working as a caretaker for a wealthy elderly man played by Elliot Gould. They're really close, but when he unexpectedly passes, she's shocked to realize that he actually left her his home in his will. The story before all the twists and turns in this one is actually pretty good, and Mendez and Usher have a great deal of chemistry, and they're also super charismatic, and you actually really come to care about Katie and Adam, so just their fight to make a living as a couple is compelling enough. Katie getting the house could have still worked in that scenario, but where Dangerous Lies kind of gets really wobbly is with its persistent attempts to keep you guessing. A lot of it is very heavy on the melodrama, but worst of all here is that when you finally do get the answer in the end, it lands with a huge thud. But back to the melodrama briefly, because I wasn't super familiar with Michael Scott as a director, so I scrolled through his IMDb page and I found a whole bunch of TV movies, like Hallmark Channel and Lifetime types of things, and that is not a bad thing at all, but I did definitely make the connection between how similar Dangerous Lies feels to those types of movies, and I know they are super popular. They're just not for me, and I'm not really all that surprised that I did wind up preferring the parts that veered away from that familiar melodrama and camp. But the thing is, I might have been on board with all of that here had the movie had a satisfying ending, because I really was along for the ride for the most part. I wanted to know who was responsible, who to trust, how Katie could possibly get through all of this. There are some major logic leaps in the movie, though, and a couple of these aha moments that kind of had me saying, yeah, but so... And even if you do go with all of that, the whole cliche reveal the plan scene is just an overcomplicated mess. And then looking back, there are just so many moments in the movie where now I'm wondering, after all of that, what was the point of that, that, and that scene over there? I don't like harping on the ending of a movie so much in a non-spoiler review, but that is kind of the deal breaker with a movie like this. But again, for what it is worth, I do think Mendez and Usher give it their all from start to finish. Gould is criminally wasted in the role, though. And as far as Scott's work behind the lens goes, he does have a pretty good handle on pacing and also the visuals. You can totally tell that he does know what he needs to do in order to make the most of the lighting and camera moves to really nail particular types of story beats, but I still have to give Dangerous Lies just two and a half Deweys out of five on the Dewey Decimovie movie scale. The mystery, it just doesn't work. There are too many supporting red herring type characters, certain accusations and discoveries that just don't really track, and then the nail in the coffin for the film is when the big reveal isn't all that compelling and also doesn't entirely make sense. So there it is, guys. Those are my thoughts on Dangerous Lies. Thank you so much for watching this review and a big thanks to Luke for making it happen. If you guys opt to check out the movie on Netflix this week and hit the comment section below and share your own thoughts right there. I will see you soon with more movie reviews.